Welcome to Africacom Television at the 20th anniversary of Africacom. We're joined now by Pierre van der Hoven, founder and CEO of Tulundulu. Uh, how have you found Africacom this year? Africacom is always great. It's a good venue in Cape Town and it's an awesome conference. Lots of uh, change happening in the industry and it's a great place to come and learn and see what everybody else is doing. For those who don't know, tell us a bit about Tulundulu. Tulundulu is a, a free TV and radio streaming app. We, we have about 40 odd TV channels, 30 odd radio stations. Um, we aim at the African market and we have low bandwidth technology that uh, reduces the data consumption for the end user. So I think the key differentiator is we focus on African content. Um, and we're focusing on the African market. Now, uh, you will be taking part in the TV Connect Africa panel discussion, uh, which will be focusing on developing a content monetization platform for different regions in Africa. Uh, what, what, what can delegates expect from that? Yeah, I think this is the biggest challenge in the industry, is the monetization of content across Africa. Well, we are apps, so we operate in all countries. Um, we got quite a big presence in South Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, Tanzania. Um, but the challenge is the monetization model. So most players have gone for the pay model, the subscriber-based model. There are not many of us who are going for the advertising-funded model. Um, but it's really about critical mass and numbers in our space. Um, and while people are definitely watching content, um, the monetization still remains a challenge for, I think, all of us, actually. Because if you look at YouTube, for example, and people who become famous just creating content almost on a daily basis, content is not always just about content, is it? In media, it's about content and distribution. You've always got to combine the two. I don't think you can talk about one without the other. So we've chosen a mobile distribution model. We are looking at options of going into the living room. Um, but at the end of the day, it's about numbers. Whether they're paying or whether you're monetizing via third party, such as advertising, it's really about traction. Um, there, there are still some barriers in Africa. The, the high cost of data is one of them. Um, I personally think the mobile network operators have been slow to react. They keep reinventing themselves. So the industry hasn't really taken off from a business perspective. But as you say, people are watching YouTube. They're consuming video content on the small screen and that's a reality. Are we seeing moves on the African continent to address some of those challenges you've just highlighted? People talk about it. And yes, the cost of data has come down, but uh, we haven't arrived. I think there's a lot more to be done. There's a lot more or, or a bigger need for synergy between the content players and let's call it the distribution partners like the broadband suppliers, the mobile networks, the wireless networks. So I think it's an industry that's evolving and, uh, evolving and changing and a uh, huge amount of change. It's an exciting place to be. And is it an industry that is working in some form of harmony where they're trying to find these solutions together or are the different players still protecting their turf, if you like? Well, I must say, last year's Africa Comet was all about collaboration and synergies and I was hugely excited after that going, finally we're going to get this working together model going. Um, but <laughs> I'm afraid people still protect their territory. Yeah. Um, sadly. Now, what can we expect from Tulunduli in terms of development and future growth? Well, we want to expand our content offering uh, and our distribution site. So we're looking for more app installs. Um, we're looking to go into just get bigger penetration in the market. And obviously, from the end user's perspective, that's all about content they can relate to. So we try to go for the content that can travel across Africa, but in the long run, it's got to be local content. Um, I think a, another area of growth that's hugely exciting is, is user-generated content. Um, so we, we've got interesting plans around the content area. One area where we play, where very few other people play, is, for example, in education. So we, we've got a leading university in South Africa, um, Rhodes University, we want to turn Grahamstown into a production hub um, to generate content to educate people across Africa on a free app. So education is quite an exciting area. And the appetite for that? Well, we launched the pilot and we've ticked the boxes in terms of producing the content. It's now about getting scale. Um, the benefit of being an app is you really can penetrate every market. So you need a very small market share, but you've got to get your revenue model right. And then you just 
kept hanging there. I think my personal view is there's a huge desire to learn in Africa. If you can reduce the barriers of cost to the end user, and you can source some of the best lecturers in their fields anywhere around, then I think that's a recipe for uh, the, the notion of scale has come up a few times during this interview. How do you get that right in Africa? Well, that's a challenge. You've got to throw money at marketing. Um, you know, the subscription model, you get 10 subscribers, you get 10 little bits of revenue. The advertising model, you get 10 subscribers, you get no revenue. You need to reach critical mass. So that's a challenge with the advertising model. Um, and it's really about securing investment um, and getting people to buy into that model and throwing money at advertising. No, without a doubt. Now, we are marking 20 years of Africacom. Let's throw forward and project to 2037, 20 years from now. Uh, what will the playing field be like in this space in Africa, do you think? Well, I think the, the difference between distribution, mobile network, content providers, regional content, it's all going to blur. People are going to consume content across any device, whether it's in the house, or they use their phone when they're out of the house. Um, I think we're going to see an inv uh, it's time the Africans created the African voice, so there's going to be a lot more local content. Um, and I think true convergence, where it's just going to be the power sits with the end user, the power's in the finger, and they will choose. Um, so that's quite a challenge that's coming, and I think a very exciting one. It is indeed. Thank you very much to Pierre van der Hoven, uh, the founder and CEO of uh, Tulundulu. Uh, this is Africa Com Television.